Ladies and gentlemen, this is part 5 in my 11 part series on the fastest checkmates in chess history. If you haven't watched the first four parts yet, go do that now. The links are in the description. Here is game 40, Salvador Serrano Marwenda versus Perez Dorado, round 8, Cordoba, Spain, 1994. Uh, it's a Caracan defense. Um, E4, C6. Uh, here we go. And then White's second move is D4. Then we have D5. Knight C3, which is the traditional variation. D kills E4. Knight kills E4. This is the main line. Bishop F5. The classical variation. Bishop D3. Bishop G6. Queen E2. Knight D7. Uh oh, that's a mistake. White mates in one. Knight D6 mate is the winning move for white. Um, and now we are going to look at game 41. Ed Duffy versus Seberg, Dayton, USA, 1973. So it uh, starts off the same, um, four, same four and a half moves by each player. So at this point, uh, instead of Bishop G6, we now have Knight D7. Um, and then white plays queen e2, setting up the kill, of course, uh, and black falls for it again, knight gf6, and that loses, um, knight d6 mate, and now we are going to... Uh, look at game 42, Aidsernia versus Assal, New York City, USA, 1989. Um, so this is... Uh, instead of bishop f5, we do knight d7, which is the Steinitz variation. And then white does bishop d3 in order to disguise the upcoming trap as mere development. Um, black plays knight gf6. So far that's okay. Uh, and then white plays queen e2. And then here comes black's mistake. Um, he should do, actually, knight kills e4, that's recommended. Instead, he goes um, g6, uh, which gives white a mate in one, uh, playing knight d6 mate. Uh, the next game, uh, game 43, is R. Smith versus Clarence Teichnor, South Carolina, USA, 1982. Um, starts off the same. Uh, just go back to uh, White's fifth move. Um, so instead of uh, Bishop d3, White will play Knight f3. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, Knight f3. And then black goes knight gf6. And then white goes queen e2. And black goes b5. Uh, which is a mistake. Uh, there are a lot of ways to lose here. Um, b5 is of course one of them. And white goes knight d6 mate. There you go. 
Uh, again, he can't take the knight with the pawn because the queen will get him here. Um, so the next game we are going to look at is game 44. Um, Vodiska versus Fijas. Correspondence, Czechoslovakia, 1983. And it's actually uh, the exact same game except that on the last move it was g6 instead of b5. And as you can see that also loses just as much to knight d6 mate. Um, the next game we are going to look at is game 45, which uh, was actually played many times. Um, despite being a six-move game, uh, a lot of different people fell for this trick. Uh, we've got Alexander Alekhine versus four amateurs in Palma de Mallorca, Spain, 1935. Friedrich Voigt versus Heinz Lehmann, German Championship, Widenau, Germany, 1947. Uh, Charles Reuben Gernhill versus W. H. Banks, Whitby, England, 1962. And Anatole Kusturin of Monaco versus Andreas Lancius of Cyprus, Chess Olympics, Final D, Round 6, Havana, Cuba, November 10, 1966. Uh, and it goes like this. Uh, let's see. On, on White's fifth move, it differs from this uh, last game. So, so instead of uh, knight f3, white plays queen e2. There we go. Um, and black played knight gf6, which is losing. And white played knight d6 bait. Um, Widenau is now part of the city of Siegen in North Rhine-Westphalia, uh, but it wasn't at the time. There was an amalgamation in 1975. The Widenau tournament was won by Georg uh, Keininger. In the 1966 Chess Olympics, Team Monaco scored 2.5 points out of 4 against Team Cyprus. Team Monaco came in 46th out of 52 teams, and Team Cyprus came in 51st. Now I will show you game 46. Francisco Karim Gonzalez versus Manuel Mato, Gibraltar Masters Round 8, La Coleta, Gibraltar, United Kingdom, February 3rd, 2004. Uh, let's see, you got e4, c6, d45, and then on White's third move, um, he played knight d2. Uh, oops, back one more. Knight d2. The modern variation. And black played d kills e4. And then knight kills e4. The main line. At this point, the game transposes to the position we saw in Serrano versus Dorado earlier, the only difference being the route the knight took to get to e4. And everything else is the same. So we have bishop f5, the classical variation. Um, Bishop d3, all the same moves you saw before. Uh, Bishop g6, Queen e2, Knight d7, and Knight d6 mate. Uh, it is interesting to note that the word matto in Italian can mean both crazy and checkmate. The dude lived up to his name in both senses of the word. This Swiss tournament was won by Nigel Short of England. Uh, Kareem was tied for 65th out of 93 players, and Matto was tied for 78th. And now, uh, game 47, Fabio LaRota versus Jeff Sarwer. This is the Jeff Sarwer who played against Josh Waitzkin in the movie Searching for Bobby Fischer. St. John Open 2 World Chess Festival, St. John, Canada, 1988. Um, so we have uh, e4, c6, knight, c3. Okay, so that's a difference on white's second move. Um, d5. Knight f3, Queen 
This is the uh, two knights attack. D kills e4. Knight kills e4. Knight f6. Queen e2. Bishop g4. G3. Knight BD7. Uh oh, that's a mistake. And then White wins with Knight D6, mate. Um, knight goes there, gets the king. Uh, and again, it's it's the same idea you saw before, where he can't take the knight with the pawn because then the queen will get him. Um, after this devastating loss, poor Jeff, who was 10 years old at the time, you gotta love kids who are good at chess, literally fell off his chair. He was so disappointed in himself. And they caught it on camera too. The local news station was there filming the event because I guess it was a slow news day. Jeff actually was in a hurry to go to the bathroom during this game, so his mind wasn't 100% focused on the chess. Frankly, if I was his opponent, I would have just let him go, pause the clock, and resume when he got back, ready to play some real chess. I guess being a gentleman is more important to me than winning. By the way, both Jeff and his sister Julia were World Youth Under 10 chess champions back in 1986. The tournament was won by Yasser Sirwan of the United States. Larota was tied for 74th out of 94 players, and Sarwar was tied for 79th. The next game we are going to look at is game 48, Paul Kears versus Edward Arlamovsky, for Zepjorka Memorial, round 11, uh, Shavna Zdruy, Poland, uh, July 2, 1950. And it was also exactly duplicated, move for move, in Gustek versus Krzyzczynowski, El Blanga, Poland, 1973. And we have e4, c6, knight c3, d5, knight of 3d kills e4, knight kills e4, knight f6, queen e2. Okay, so just going back uh, three steps here. Um... So instead of bishop g4, uh oh, black makes uh, an even worse move here with knight bd7, which loses instantly, of course, against knight d6 mate. Um, so it's pretty much the same mate as before, except uh, it happened one turn sooner. Um, yeah, the first five moves were the same uh, in, in both cases. Um, we've got Kiers versus Arlamovsky and Guzdek versus Krzyzczynovsky. Uh, the very minor difference is that Krzyzczynovsky resigned uh, just before his opponent could deliver the fatal blow, whereas Arlamovsky let Paul Kier's checkmate him. Um, and now game 49, Richard Rapport versus Tim L. Rogers, Politiken Cup, round 1, uh, Helsinger, uh, Denmark, um, July 21st, 2014. Um, and now on White's third move... Um, it's queen e2, and then black plays d kills e4, uh, and then knight kills e4, knight d7, uh oh, that's a mistake, um, and then uh, white wins with knight d6 mate. Knight gets him, smothered mate, can't take it with the pawn, queen will get him. Uh, there were 310 players in this tournament, uh, which was won by Bu Xiangji. Uh, and this concludes part 5 of my 11 part series. Please watch part 6 next. Uh, if you do, you're awesome. The link is in the description.